Richard. Is this your coat? <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Bad guy in a little coat. Bad guy in a little coat. Don't. <laughs> Bad guy in a little coat. Bad guy in a little coat. Take it off, dickhead. I'm serious. Richard, what's happening? From colonial era dwellings to distinctive business districts and designed open spaces, the architectural heritage of the capital region is rich. In the late 1800s, a notable architect who worked in the region was Henry Hobson Richardson. He became known as America's first architect for his original designs that broke away from European traditions. The 1870s and 80s were a period of major public building in the U.S. and Richardson's work set the style. He was one of the principal architects for the New York State Capitol, responsible for the Executive Chamber, the Senate Chamber, and Senate Corridors. He also designed Albany City Hall. It's a fine example of a signature Romanesque style, which is characterized by rugged texture, dramatic arches, and sculptural details. Henry Hobson Richardson left a legacy that influenced generations of American architects. I was waiting in the undertow Set adrift with featherweight light poles Unaware of where my heart would flow I was waiting in the undertow Can't touch the bottom Sit into a tumble Waves that shake me out Out of my skin Never been so easy Losing my direction Bearings have me south. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this room that I'm standing in. It, this was the meeting um, hall for the Paul Dean Lodge, the Masonic Lodge here in Easton. For many years they met here, I think from about 1881 to about 1960. And it's a room that not many people uh, from the public have had a chance to come up here. So I'm always excited when I get a chance to look um, and be up in this room. There's a fabulous ceiling um, that is the original ceiling that was installed at, when the building was built. And it is really a remarkable um, ceiling. It has starry skies um, intersected by eight um, acanthus columns and bordered by some maple leaf tendrils and a geranium leaf border. Um, during our recent master plan work, um, the ceiling was tested and it's really been found to be in fairly good condition for uh, a ceiling of this, uh, this type. Uh, we're, we're thrilled that we have it in such good shape, although it's going to need a little bit of work. There's also some Masonic symbols throughout the ceiling and um, over on the corner of the wall there, there is the Eye of Providence, which is a really beautiful, um, unique Masonic feature.
This looks like a newer construction outback, but it has some significance there. You can see the chimneys look to be made out of like a copper or something different than cement. It's green. And this is out back of the Oaks Ames. 